y'all. I said, what's up, y'all? Look at me when I'm talking to you, bro. Nah, I'm just messing with y'all, man. This your boy, Knockout Boxing 86 TV, and we in here. So check this out. Before we get going on our video, smash the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Share the video. Turn on your notifications. And don't forget that we live Monday, Wednesday, and Thursday night at 7.30 p.m. Central Time. And you can also catch us live every Sunday morning with the singing OG KQKC Boxing Network. Sunday mornings, 9 a.m. Central Standard Time. And could you all, if you also could, join the channel as a member. Drop super chats and super thanks when you come by the live streams and the videos. And don't forget to... um. Hit me up if you want to debate in the TKO debate series. Knockout Boxing 86 Yahoo.com is the email address. Let's get it cracking, bro. Bob Aram done said a lot, man. Let's talk about what he had to say about Javante Davis and Monster Inaway and Manny Pacquiao. Let's, let's talk about it. So, Bob Aram doing the Emmanuel Navarrete and uh, Oscar Valdez build up. He did a few interviews, and that's where we're getting all this information from. So, go check out his interviews that he did. You can check out the excerpts from his interviews on different platforms like Boxing Scene and, and Boxing News 24 if you want to know what I'm referencing and where I'm getting my information from in this video and in the next video that we shoot today. But um, Monster Inouye, Bob Aaron basically feels like Monster Inouye is better than Manny Pacquiao. That he's going to be he, he better than Manny Pacquiao. And he thinks that Monster Inouye versus Tank Davis is stupid and it don't make no sense. That's basically his, his, his words in a nutshell. So let's talk about it. Me, myself, Tank Davis versus Monster anyway. Not interested in it right now. I'd like to see Monster become more proven um, at 130, at 135, and prove that his power carries, that, is, that he is just as good, just as fast against bigger, stronger, faster, more athletic fighters. Because no disrespect to the guys at 122 pounds, no disrespect to the guys at 118, 115, 112 pounds. No disrespect to those guys, a lot of great fighters, a lot of great fights, but the talent gap between the lightweights and the guys down there, or the, even the 130-pounders and the guys down there, you know what I'm saying? There's a lot of Stephen Fulton-esque fighters at 130. Oshaki Foster, um, Hector Luis Garcia is a good outboxer. Uh, Chris Colbert is a good outboxer. There's a lot of guys comparable to Stephen Fulton at 130. 135, like, come on, bro. Shakur Stevenson, Vasily Lomachenko, Javante Tank Davis, Raymond Muratala, Keyshawn Davis, Abdullah Mason, uh, Williams Zapata, Isak Pitbull Cruz. Um, guy like, so, I, I don't want the fight because Tank dropped down to 130. Monster anyway come up to 130. Tank do what we know he going to do to him, bro. It's going to be like, oh, that shit, we knew that shit was a mismatch. It's a lose-lose situation for Tank. Because, number one, he going to beat Monster ass and ain't going to get no credit for it. Even though people, some people got Monster number one pound for pound off of what he did to Cool Boy with that great performance. I got him, like, top three, but you can't you can't put him over Terrence Crawford right now after what Terrence Crawford did to Earl Spence, bro. You just can't do it. If, Earl, if Terrence Crawford ain't no one on your pound for pound list, I don't even know if I can talk boxing with you. And I don't even like Terrence Crawford, but just objectively, how could you ignore that shit? But here's the thing, bro. About the whole shit. So I don't want to see the fight. So I don't want nobody to think I'm advocating for Tank Davis versus Monster anyway. I can think of five, six other fights I'd rather see Tank in than Monster anyway. But here's the conundrum that Bob Aram is in. Because you can't call a fight like that stupid and say he's better than Manny Pacquiao when that is precisely the type of fights and the type of moves that Manny Pacquiao made to get to that level in his career. You can't say it's stupid for Monster anyway to do something that Manny Pacquiao did, jumping up to weight classes 130, 135, 140, 147. Hell, I even think Manny fought at 154. You can't say that he's better than Manny, but then say it's stupid for him to do something that Manny did to prove that he's better than the person you're saying he's better than, bro. That shit don't make no sense to me. So one of the parts about Manny being so great is that his power would carry through all these weight classes. That he was able to get in there with bigger guys, use his speed, use his time, and use his power, use his, his herky-jerky style, and put dudes away. Do what he did to Miguel Cotto, Ricky Hatton, Oscar De La Hoya, Antonio Margarito. Do what he did to the old fighters. They were way bigger than him. That's part of his greatness. 
We ain't seen Moss anyway in there with nobody way bigger than him like that. So how you gonna say he better than Manny already when he got half of the titles that Manny got in terms of divisions? He's a four division champion. Manny got eight of them hoes. So that's why I don't understand like how you gonna say the fight's stupid. Because again, I don't think it's stupid. I just think it's it's too early. Tank gonna be at 135, probably he gonna be hovering 135, 140, probably to his mid 30s, bro. You probably won't see Tank Davis fighting at like 147 pounds till he like 34, 35 years old, bro. So like five, six years from now. So that's a long time for months anyway to work his way up. You know, you he about to be fucking undisputed at 122 in two fights. He just be cool, boy. They working on a tapless fight for later on this year. He gonna stop his ass too. So then he'll be at 126. Then he'll be right there at 130. Let him conquer 126. Let him step on some shit at 130. Then let's see it. So that way, you got to give Tank credit when he do what he going to do to him. But right now, it's too early. But Bob Abram can't be saying that shit's stupid. But saying he better than somebody that did that quote-unquote stupid shit at the same time. I don't think it makes no sense. Or I don't think it's stupid. I think it's too early for Tank versus Monster. I think I need to see Monster. Okay, you is cracking at 130. Okay. Okay, your power, yo, that shit don't matter at weight classes. Okay. You still are faster than he do. You still carrying that same strength. Okay. Now get in there with that monster. The real monster. Get in there with Tank. Now we yeah, now we talking. Now we talk cause right now, bro. He get up in that bed too little, man. <laughs> say. <laughs> say, bro, Tank do a try, man. Go on. Y'all know that shit. But by Aaron, his contradiction in this. He just, he just, he just trying to talk up monster. At the same time, he don't want that Tank Davis shit to grow legs, bro. The worst kept secret in boxing, bro, that these dudes is trying to, trying to keep from you is that Tank Davis really that guy, and they all know that in the ring he really liked that. He really liked that. They know that he faster than them. He just as skilled, and he can end your shit at any point in the fight. They all know that, bro. All these promoters, these matchmakers, these fighters, look at how they move. We're doing a live stream later today. The only people that want to fight Tank are the people that we don't want to see him fight. Cause all the ones that we want to see him fight, they moving, they moving around that young man right now. Because they know, bro, fighters know. And people with a good eye, man, they know. They know all that shit cool and all that talking on Twitter, man. That's, that's good. Do that. But in that ring with them eight-ounce gloves on, no headgear, your career on the line. A dude that fast, that powerful, that can set you up, that can knock you out by action. And he led two knockouts. He led two of his lad. Matter of fact, he led three knockouts, bro. He wasn't even really. You know what I'm saying? He knocked Hector Luis Garcia blind on accident. He was just throwing the shot to pivot out on, on, on Roller Romero and just, you know, made him break his damn ankle trying to get up. He twisted his whole goddamn ankle trying to get up. And then fucking uh Hector Luis Garcia, bro, he just. I mean, Ryan Garcia, he just punched his rear through his back with a little, it wasn't number a little two, a little straight left. He just ducked under, threw a little straight left, and how rear went through his back. Homie couldn't even breathe, bro. And all that shit coming fast behind a plethora of skills and timing and counter punching ability, man. They know, bro. That why, that why dudes is like, yeah, I'm fighting Loma. Yeah, I'm fighting Regis. Only people calling them out is people hungry for paydays, like a Gary Russell Jr. who on the lad leg, just coming off a lost shoulder surgery, trying to get a bag. Fucking up. It's the other dude night. The other dude night. Uh, Eastside people are cool. Got out box with one hand and shit. He calling that thing. Your favorite fighters, they ain't saying shit. Oh, we gonna talk about it tonight. We chilling though. But back to Bob Abram and Monster anyway. Bro. Stop saying he better than Manny if you don't want to see him, if you think it's stupid or it makes no sense for him to do the shit that Manny did, bro. Say it's not ready right now. Say that it's something that maybe could happen in the future. But don't rule out Monster's biggest payday and don't rule out potentially that fight there with, with what Tank got going on over here in America. What they got going over there in Japan, bro, that could be like $150 million, damn near $200 million fight. 
straight up, you, you sell that shit on pay-per-view here in America and you sell that shit on pay-per-view in Japan with them Japan TV rights and the money over there, boy, all right. I don't call that shit stupid. That shit make all the sense in the world, boy. And just not right now. And you damn sure can't be comparing that young man to Manny Pacquiao saying he better than Manny and shit. And then you don't you think it's stupid for him to do the type of shit that Manny did. He gotta continue to go up. Hell, he walk around probably like 135, 140 anyway. All the way in shape. So let him keep going. Shit. Keep getting them accolades. Keep beating these dudes' ass and shit. And then let's see the fight, but it can't be stupid. It can't be stupid while Manny Pacquiao is the type of thing that Manny Pacquiao would do and that he did throughout his career. You can't say he better than Manny if you if he ain't going to accomplish what Manny accomplished. Sorry, bro. You need more than four divisions. And he undisputed and shit, that ain't, that ain't enough. That ain't enough, bro. No disrespect to, to the undisputed, bro. It's a great accomplishment. It's a great accomplishment, but undisputed in two weight classes versus an eight division champion. Show me you can go up. That's what pound for pound is about. My shit transcends weight classes. And to Monster's credit, so far, it done did that shit from 105 up to 122. But are you the same fighter at 126 or are you better? Are you the same fighter at 130 or are you better? Are you the same fighter at 135 or are you better? Manny proved to be a better fighter as he went up versus when he when he was down low. What you got, bro? I ain't finna say he better than Manny just yet. I ain't, even though Manny got the losses that he got, bro, he fought the people that he fought. His resume is impeccable. His accomplishments are impeccable. Until I see Monster do some shit at 140 or 147 and I seen Manny do, Against champions in those divisions, man, I ain't putting him over Manny, bro. Bob Aaron bullshitting with that. And you bullshitting saying that it was stupid. Let me see what he looked like going. Manny, Manny went up to Manny, 41 years old, fucking Keith Thurman up. 41 years old, two years out the ring, five foot nothing. Small as hell. Fucking up Keith. He 38, 39 years old, 37 years old, like probably 38, 39 years old, Adrian Brown. At 147. Like, let me see Monster do some shit like that, bro. And then before you just say he better than you. Come on, dog. Come on, bro. Like, people just say shit. Bob just saying shit with that one. I understand you gotta promote your guy, but I think Tank Davis is a perfect, perfect opponent in the future, two years, three years from now. Let them boys, let let, let let monster continue to grow. Let that, let's see, let's see that power will continue to carry up. And then, and then let's see what's up, bro. Let's see what's up. But I just know, just know, no matter how much he work, no matter how cold we think monster is and all that shit, just know, ain't no dude getting his damn eye orbital bone broke by no need to do one hundred. 18 pounds with no need to 36, 37. You ain't gonna convince me they doing shit with Javante Davis. I'm sorry, bro. Only thing no need to got over Javante Tank Davis is his accolades. He ain't nowhere near the talent that Tank is, bro. Now, he was giving you everything at 36. Yeah, all right. Fulton, Stephen Fulton, he cool. He a good fighter. But, bro, he ain't, man. Hey, look. Y'all let me know what y'all think. Do you think in a way in Tank is stupid? Bob Aaron think it's stupid. It don't make no sense. But he also think Monster in a way is better than Manny Pacquiao. I can't follow that logic. I don't understand that. It's like an oxymoron. Those two things don't go together. But y'all let me know what y'all think. Comment below. Smash the like, sub to the channel. Share the video. Appreciate y'all watching. We'll catch y'all on the next one. Peace out.